Good morning, America. This is Mac Autumn reporting. We have breaking news this morning from NASA. We are finally ready to send five lucky astronauts to Mars. It's been 50 years since our Mars exploration program has been started, and uh, we will have the broadcast of the launch later today. I had the privilege of interviewing those five lucky astronauts, but we will get more on that later. We're going to send you right now to Houston. He's going to give you the rundown on how this mission is going to take place, how they're going to live in space for an extended period of time. Over to you, Houston. If no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. Howdy, America. My name's Houston. For the first time in human history, we're prepared to send the first humans to Mars. Yes, America, you heard right. We're going to Mars. But it took a numerous amount of brilliant minds to make this journey possible. They truly are incredible people. But we don't care about them. The people we care about are the souls that are risking their very lives to further society's reach in space. Our lead reporter, Mac Odin, is with these select five and is prepared to tell us more about them. On to you, Mac. We're at the house of flight controller Alyssa Butterfield. We're going to ask her a few questions and see what she thinks about the mission. I hope she's home. Hi, I'm Matt Gottam from NBC News. I'm going to ask you a few questions about the mission. Okay. Because of your very important role as flight controller, what makes you very prepared for this mission? Well, I have been flying airplanes for 10 years now. Alright, and uh, did you do well in school? I did, yeah. I got preferred my A's and B's. Good, good. Uh, did you have a big family? Yeah, I had five brothers and sisters. Oh, wow. That's a, that is a big family. Are you excited for the mission? I am very excited. Alright, good. Thank you. You're welcome. We're here at a local YMCA about to interview second-in-command Sarah Cantu. Let's see what she's up to. Oh, sorry. Did uh, we interrupt you? Oh, yeah, just a little bit, but it's okay. What makes you qualified for this mission? Well, obviously I'm physically fit. And I'm controlling, so being second in control, you need to have those controlling skills. I'm ready for this mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll let you get back to your uh, workout. Oh, thanks. We are now at the house of Commander Westhoff. I'm hiding in his closet right now. We're going to ask him a few questions. About the mission. Hi, Mac Autumn, NBC. Hit Mac. I'm asking you a few questions about your mission to Mars. That sounds right dandy. What in your past, being the leader of this mission, what in the past has made you qualified for the mission? Well, ever since I was in high school, I've been very involved in all sorts of um, activities like cross-country, math club. Um, I was leader of the leadership club. Um, so I've really just been doing all sorts of stuff. I had, there was five kids in my family. I was the oldest, so I was used to very, you know, not ideal situations with lots of people. So the two years in space shouldn't be so hard compared to that. Good, good. That's uh, quite a list of accomplishments. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, okay, we have our uh, Russian scientist Karskarov pulling up right now. Uh, we're going to stop him and ask him a few questions about how his mission is going to go. Let's see what he has to say. Kostrov, we now have our uh, fifth and least of all astronaut here. Uh, what makes you uh, capable? for this task, because you do know the whole world is counting on you to make these scientific breakthroughs and, and make this mission worthwhile. Yes, I am aware of this. I have had the best schooling in the world. Uh, I have never done less than perfect. And ever since I was little, I have always lived in close, cramped quarters. Even I could do this with filthy Americans. Um, space is how you might say a slice of pie. Oh, thank you. Thirty minutes past the time astronaut Jordan Durbin was supposed to show up for her interview, 
We don't know what we're going to do about this, um, but... Uh... Ooh, an email. Let me see that camera. From spacenut at hotmail.com to newsman456 at nbc. That's me. I'm writing to tell you that I can't make it to the interview. Of course I'm still going to Mars, but I wanted to go on a trip before I go. You know, to say goodbye and stuff. Well, I'm still plenty qualified for this mission, mainly because I'm super cool and stuff. I mean, like, I got good grades and stuff, but, you know, people like me, for the most part. I mean, my mom does. Anyways, I'll see you guys on launch day. Smiley face. Jordan Durbin. Well, there you have it. Astronaut Jordan Durbin. One of the most qualified astronauts on the team. Thank you, Mac. Now, you fellas may be asking yourself, or your mom, how exactly are they going to be able to do this? Well, lucky few, I got the answers. There are seven critical parts of this mission. First, our five astronauts will blast off using NASA's regular space shuttle. There, they will dock with the space station. They will then make their way over to the M63 Martian Explorer that has been worked on gradually for the past 50 years. From that there space station, they were launch off to Mars. Once at Mars, the main craft will orbit Mars and a lander will allow them to land on Mars, where all five astronauts will stay for five months on Mars. This is very similar to how we were able to get to the moon and back. After their stay, the astronauts will launch back up in space and turn to the space station, where they will crawl back into the shuttle and return to the familiar and beautiful Earth. Well, this is great and all, but what are they going to eat, drink, breathe for two whole years? These difficult problems were solved thanks to modern technology. The majority of the Mars Explorer is a garden, which will provide food and oxygen to the astronauts. Water will be circulated through the garden, showers, and restrooms. A similar strategy will be used while the astronauts are on Mars. In order to fuel this 250 million mile journey, a ton of fuel will be needed. We've slowly been adding fuel to the Martian Explorer fuel tanks, which spans the entire length of the ship. And after 50 long years, we are finally ready to send humans to Mars. Now we will take a look at the live launch of this shuttle that is to kick off this immense mission. See you later, folks. <laughs>